So today I'm going to go through how to upgrade a BK-466 to modern CRTs, um, like the connector for the CR-23 or the CR-32, so on and so forth. So BK has a wire upgrade chart. <clears throat> And this is how to convert your old cable, which had this connector on it, to the newer connector. Now, it is more involved than what this chart tells you. Um, there is a... There are several things you have to do inside to do this. Um, I chose to go ahead and replace the entire cable because my old cable had broken anyways made it a little bit easier for me in the end um, but as you can see it what happens is it rubs it breaks right here and rubs up against the plate um, so you might need to replace the cable uh, I decided to go with a Belden uh, it is a Belden 8466 it is a 12 conductor cable we have 12 pins so it's perfect um, so Let's let's get inside and see what all I've done to this. So once you open it up, you will be faced with, uh, if you're using the original cable, 15 wires. Now, six of the wires are tied together, but they're not tied together in the same spot. Um, you have two wires that terminate here. It's a black and white and a white and black. And then it will go up to uh, this orange and um, black. And the orange and black, instead of running down like it is here, it'll actually run back into the cable and it terminates at the end of the old connector um, at the pin. So when I upgraded to the 12 connect, uh, conductor, I had to run a jumper from this point down to here. And this old, the other one, it was the same way. It was the uh, red and white and green and white that went, uh, they were tied both right here and then they went up into the cable. And then there was the blue and white, that's, you can barely see it right there, that blue and white cable. Um, it ran from the switch up into the cable, into the pin, and tied together there. We don't need any of that since we're using 12 conductor cable. So you just need to run a jumper from the orange one to the first post, and the blue one to the second post. So that's good. So the problem with it is, <clears throat> is this thing has a special circuit in it. And the special circuit is tied in to the functionality of the whole damn thing. So we're not using the special circuit anymore. We just we just need to disable it. So this wire right here, um, it is a yellow with a red stripe. It attaches right there. And it also attaches to the big clunkin' connector uh, right there. Okay, so you need to cut this wire out. Um, this wire totally disables the entire special circuit. Uh, I've got so, as you can see, I have here in red. The problem becomes is that it dead shorts the uh, G1 green, G1 red, and G1 blue together uh, with that circuit enabled. Um, so, by taking that wire out, we disabled this entire. Uh, special circuit which is good news because now that we can use this on newer CRTs so here is the wiring chart that BK has and um, this if you're using the original cable you want to follow this side of the chart if you're using my cable you want to follow this side of the chart um, there is your Molex adapter for the end uh, this one and the pins that go with it. Right. So, leave that on there for a second. So once, once you have that wire cut, you'll need to go on the bottom side of this wafer on the switch, on the top wafer for the switch. Um, and it's not, it's really hard to film what exactly is going on there, but there is another ring that goes all the way around on the bottom side of this wafer and there will be a contact for the G1 red, the G1 blue, and the G1 green 
that attach to that bottom wafer. Um, what you want to do is you want to take a small screwdriver and you want to lift those pins away from that um, ring connector. And the reason for this is is because when it turns, it shorts out uh, two of the uh, colors, or the G1s together. We don't want that. So by lifting those down, they become separate uh, entities, which is good news because once you do that, you're good to go. Um, now, because because they're all separate, uh, the wiring chart I found out to wire this to the new connector, it's not going to work 100% the same. So if you notice here, I have uh, three wires going to my G1 pin. Instead of just the green one, as this chart shows, uh, G1 green, and it goes up, and it goes into pin 5. Instead, you have to run the G1 line for the red, the green, and the blue into pin 5. Um, once you've done that, you, uh, you can then use the switch to select the color which is fantastic because this thing means this thing works just like a 470. Um, now one thing to note, if you do swap out the cable, you have to tie all four of the, uh, you tie the G2, the G3, the G4, and the focus pins all together uh, on this one post right there. And so if you look at um, if you look at my, if you look at this wiring diagram again for the connector, you can see all these red lines that go over. Those are new connections that are made internally. Um, now that means that this pin, this pin, this pin, and this pin, all technically are the same wire. Um, but just for sake of keeping everything easy, I went ahead and just wired them up as separate. Um, my wiring diagram here shows exactly what I did here. So the orange black um, the orange black and the orange are the heater. The red and black, green and black, and blue and black are the G1s. The K's are just the standard color wires. The white um, oh my light just turned off the white goes to G2 red, the white and black goes to G2 green, black goes to G2 blue, G3, G4, and there should be a comma focus goes to the black and white. So once all that is done, you are good to go.